Jack Wilshire says he thought, 100%, daughter would die during 5-hour open-heart surgery. Former Arsenal midfielder Jack Wilshire has bravely opened up on his daughter being diagnosed with a heart condition and undergoing 5-hour open-heart surgery. Jack Wilshire admits he feared his daughter would die after doctors found a hole in her heart. The former Arsenal midfielder, who retired from professional football last summer, and wife Andriani Michael tied the knot in June 2017 and welcomed their first child, Sienna, a year later. However, after her first birthday, they noticed a number of reoccurring health problems. Wilshire said, we never thought it would be as serious as it was. After exercise, we noticed Sienna would always have a coughing fit. We were told this could be exercise-induced asthma and other than regular colds and chest infections, there were no other signs. Sienna was diagnosed with the defect aged 5. It was during a family holiday in Cyprus where a doctor detected a heart murmur and urged the family to bring Sienna to see a cardiologist. Andriani took her daughter and the news left them stunned. I was at work preparing to travel with the squad when I got the call from Andriani to explain that Sienna had a serious heart condition and would need surgery, Wilshire revealed. I remember just breaking down, thinking where do we go from here? An emotional Andriani adds. I just rang Jack and burst, I fell to the floor as I couldn't believe the news. It was shocking. The ex-Arsenal and England ace admits, our lives were turned upside down. My mind was racing to the worst-case scenario, the first thing that came to my mind was that we might lose her. Sienna underwent a five-hour operation in February after being diagnosed with sinus venosus atrial septal defect, a hole in the heart, one month earlier. Asked if he thought he might lose his daughter, Wilshire said simply, 100%. On the surgery, Andriani added, the night before we were a bag of nerves. I remember having this feeling in the pit of my stomach. When we went down to the intensive care unit, it was all such a blur. I heard Sienna cry and it was then I knew she was going to be okay. Around 13 babies a day are born with a congenital heart defect in the UK. 60 years ago, the majority would not survive until their first birthday. But today, thanks to research, more than 8 out of 10 will survive into adulthood. Sienna is now happy and healthy and part of a family who call her their heart warrior. We're really proud after all she's been through on her journey, Wilshire said. As a footballer I've been through surgeries and know how hard it is to recover, and these are nothing compared to what she went through. As a five-year-old, to bounce back the way she did with so much courage. I'm so proud of her. The surgery has made all the difference and she has so much energy now. Wilshire and his wife are both now ambassadors for the British Heart Foundation and are hoping to help raise more awareness about the condition and support children and parents with heart issues. Andriani adds, We didn't know anything about congenital heart conditions and never thought our daughter would ever require open-heart surgery. Turning to the BHF made us feel less alone and gave us the answers and support we needed. We're supporting the British Heart Foundation because without life-saving research keeping children's hearts beating, we might not have Sienna here with us today, added Jack. There's so many warriors out there, hopefully we can give parents support and get more research into it and try to make a difference, both into parents' lives and children. Thanks for watch this video if you like this don't forget like and subscribe this channel. Goodbye.